I'm going to do a full map tour of City of Nobeth, Massachusetts. This will help you decide where uh, you want to live, maybe close to the highways or maybe the restaurants or schools. This will give you an idea. <laughs> Hi, my name is Roberto Diaz and if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Here I do videos about Massachusetts and, and I also do vlogs. Um, so if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification on so you get notified every time I upload a video. We are the relocation team here in Massachusetts. Honestly, we get calls, texts, and emails from people looking to move to Massachusetts. They ask us questions. And if you're thinking about making a move to Massachusetts, give us a call, send us a text or email. Book a Zoom call with me or somebody from my team. All right, so I'm gonna hop on my computer and we're gonna do a full map tour. All right, so what you see this uh, white and red line over here, this will cover the whole uh, New Bedford. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start from the northern side and then we're gonna come to western and then we're gonna come all the way to southern. So let's check what they have in the northern, then western and then southern. New Bedford is actually very close to Cushion Ave, uh, Dartmouth and uh, Freetown, actually very close to Freetown. Even Boston, only like 50, 55 minutes drive with no traffic. Here in the north end, we have, you see a Kushnet F. This is actually a very long road, which will take you all the way to south end. It breaks down a few times, uh, but it continues. So this will take you all the way to south end. And we have here, what you see, 140. This is actually the highway that will take you all the way to uh, to Boston. So if you want to live close to the highway, let's say maybe you, you work in Boston and you want to jump on the highway right away, then you might want to pick this area. And what we're gonna do, we're also gonna check um, the home prices around this area. And here we have the registry of motor vehicle, which is all the way like deep north end. And if you're in Freetown, maybe if you live in Freetown, it will be just like 10, 15 minutes away to get to the, to the motor vehicle. All right, so here in the North End, we have Little People's College, which is also known as like daycare. So if you have, you know, kids, um, we have one here in the North End. And if we keep coming. Then we have the fire department, of course. Now, I'm not gonna show you guys every little thing because I don't want this video to be super long, but I'm gonna show you some of the like major things like schools, um, grocery stores. And the, the 140, the Highway 140 actually comes all the way to West End. Let's say if you wanna come to West End and then you wanna take the highway, you can actually, uh, take 140 it will the highway 140 will actually take you all the way to West End, which you're gonna exit right here right off the the bottomwood park which is the zoo is over there it will exit right here on Campton Street and then if you keep coming straight on Brownell Ave that will take you to um, to South End and then if you make a turn here on your right it will take you to Dartmouth let's get back to North End If we check here real quick on, on my uh, website and see what they have available here in the northern area, as you can see, uh, you know, there's not much here in the northern area, which is Nubefa. Actually, uh, we don't have um, that much inventories right now. Uh, usually, the houses don't last that long on the market if it's priced right. So, um, let's check out this one. We got this one for. This one is priced at four hundred ninety-nine thousand and nine hundred. Uh, let's take a quick look. And this one is a three bedrooms, one bed, right around fourteen hundred fifty-six square feet, square foot, and. 
pretty huge size on the lot. We have another one for 515,000. And this one is four bedrooms, two full bed, 2380 square foot. Looks pretty decent inside. And this 18, this is Highway 18 that will actually take you, if, you are, if you're going from Norton to Southern, you can take the Highway 18 or you can, or you can go on the street. I normally, I like to take the highway. Usually there's no traffic and it takes you about like 10 minutes to get from Norton to Southern. Let's say you want to go to the beach in the Southern side and you could just take the highway and then it will, uh, you will exit right, uh, right in the Southern area. All right, so what you're going to find in the in the northern area so we have um, motor vehicle if you keep coming you're going to find oh and this is if you see this right here too this is Ashley Boulevard which is a is also a kind of a very uh, long road and a little bit of uh, it's a little bit busy road too just like a cushion F especially during the rush hour uh, like after the 2 30 4 30 you know with the uh, people getting out of people getting off work in schools so sometimes you might see a little bit of delays so if you want to avoid this road around those time you can if we keep coming we have this uh, grocery supermarket which is called trushis I normally don't uh, don't shop over there, but they do have some fresh stuff. But I usually like to go to Market Basket or Stop and Shop. And if you keep coming, and of course you're gonna find the gas station everywhere. Then we have Walgreens, and we have Dunkin' Donuts in the North End. We're gonna keep coming and I'm gonna show you guys the middle school and the high school. So if you come on Ashley Boulevard, this is where you are going to find um, the high school called uh, Vogue Tech, which is actually pretty, it's a pretty good school. And I believe you actually have to get good grades to get accepted over there. Um, but that's gonna be in the North End. So if you wanna live close to, if you wanna live close to that school, you want to choose Northern area. Then we have a couple banks. And a cushion and F is, it's actually, it's a, you're going to find a lot of business places in a cushion and F. You know, you're going to find banks, stores, restaurants, bars, and which is, it's pretty, it's actually pretty busy um if you come in on that road and right here this is called this is church church this is church street you're going to find a there's actually a school over here which goes from first grade all the way to eighth grade my son actually goes to this school which the school is actually uh, fairly new they just built it a few years ago and my son goes there. It's actually a pretty good school. Let's go down a little bit to a cushion F. And if you come right here on Ashley Boulevard and you take Tarkin Hill Road, you're going to find a middle school here, which is called Normandin Middle School. And then we have the Akushnet River. And if you keep coming, I'm gonna show you guys. This is this is a soccer field, which is called you know the Riverside Park soccer field, which is which is public. I used to play there when I was younger, but I don't play that much there anymore. When they don't have a league, you can actually go and play. It's public. 
and they have a little they have some like they have a little bit of playground there too if you want to bring your kids and if you keep coming like towards southern here on Bellevue F if you keep coming coming it will take you to market basket which is right here you see this big plaza uh, sorry not big plaza which you see right here this big parking lot this is the parking lot for market basket i personally like to shop at market basket the prices tend to be a little bit better than uh stop and shop or like shaw's uh, the only thing that i don't like about market basket most of the time they're packed especially if you go like on the weekends there's so many people there so it's it's kind of super tough to do your grocery when you know you have people everywhere and then right right near um and then right near market basket we have starbucks then we have taco bell and and if you see right here if you come on this road right here it will take you to Fairy Haven and this is the highway 195 which will take you if you go this way will take you to Cape Cod and if you go in this way will take you to like Fall River and Rhode Island all right now let's go let me show you a little Little bit more of north end now on this side you're going to find wonder bowl like the bowling i like to go over there once in a while super fun and you have another donkey over here and i'm show you this plaza now here in the north end we have this plaza right here where you're gonna find this place called Funzy Trampoline, which is super fun. It's a huge indoor trampoline park. Um, I take my kids there almost every weekend. And, you know, it's super fun. You, you know, you go, you jump. Super, super fun. And I think, I believe it's like for one hour, you pay like $15, which is super nice. Then right here on this plaza, you're going to find, we have the Ocean State Jabula. You're gonna find McDonald's. We have another McDonald's here. And we have Wendy's. We have Wendy's, then we have Stop and Shop. Northern side actually have way more amenities than like West End and, and then South End. So if you want to live close to all these things, you may want to choose the Northern area. and if we come if we come down here and this is the airport the airport is right here in the north end right on uh mount pleasant more stuff in the north end but like i said i'm not going to show you guys every little things because i don't want this video to be super long now we're going to head to the western area i'm going to show you guys what you're going to find in the western so coming down here like i said if you take 140 it will take you all the way to West End, or you can take this uh, street right. Uh, you can take this road right here, Shamar F. So let's go to West End area. All right. So when you come here on Hathaway Boulevard, this is where it's gonna take you to New Bedford High School. Which is right here so the Nubefa high school is located in the west end and right next to high school we also have the middle school we have the middle school right here which is right next to right next to high school and this is the this is the field for the middle school and then for high school 
this is the this is the parking lot for high school then you have the field for high school this is the back side then you have this baseball field here which is this is for the number for high and then we have this other field here that is for the number for high too which is this is this is football field and also a soccer field and they have another one another football field right here and right next uh, right near the high school we have this place which is a, it's an indoor climbing and fitness you know people go there all the time so if you like to climb and you're looking for a place for fun to go you and your kids and definitely check this place out so if you want to live close to if you want to live close to high school or middle school you know if you have kids then you want to pick this area right here where like you see Rockdale F and this whole area right here this would be the western area now let's take a quick look here in the home prices here in the western area uh, you know this one for 375 Four bedrooms, one full bed, right almost 2,000 square foot. So this one is priced at 375,000. Dog, uh, pretty decent inside. Looks okay. Then we have another one here for three hundred thousand. Uh, oh, actually, I went to see this house. This house actually needs work. That's why it's priced um, at three hundred thousand. Needs a little bit of work. I mean, not too bad, but it's, it's a small house. Then let's say if you want something like close to the hospital, uh, which is it's gonna cost you uh, more money like this one right here um, this is right next to the right next to the hospital it's on the same street and four bedrooms three full beds and one and a half bathroom and 3,000 square foot uh, it's actually a big house let's take a quick look of the inside of the house um, and this actually uh, I believe they just listed this one you can see the snow because we had some snow last week looks pretty decent nice house then we have this one uh, 450,000 so but you have an uh, this is just to give you an idea uh, you know what to expect in the price that you will pay uh, depends on the area that you want to live so we're gonna keep coming like I said this is the 140 this is where it's gonna end and I say you want to live in this area right here like maybe you want to get on the highway to go to Boston you can jump on the highway right here 140 coming on route 6 Campton Street and if you go this way it will take you to Dartmouth and if you keep coming straight here it will take you all the way to Southern and I'm gonna show you the zoo now what what are you going to find in the West End right here we have this you know Japanese restaurant which is one of my favorite I like I go there once in a while then you got the boost mobile we got another Dunkin Donuts and of course gas station And like I said, North End, you know, has more. North End offers more than the than the West End. Here's the Bottomwood Park, which is um, this is where you're gonna find the zoo. You know, if you wanna take your kids, you wanna visit, which is super cool. I go there once in a while, take my kids, and also, also right here. It's a very uh, walkable place, you know, people go for a walk there, 
all the time you can actually walk like right here you can walk right here go all the way around and you can come all the way around or you can act uh, you can walk right here really nice uh, place for walk all right now I'm going to show you where the main hospital is you know let's say you want to live close to the hospital and I'm gonna show you where that is so if you keep coming here on Brownell F and then we have Hawthorne Street so if you take Hawthorne Street and I'm also gonna show you the downtown which is right here I say you're coming on Rockdale F like in the West End you take Union Street you go all the way down you, and here you're gonna find County Street where you're gonna find another McDonald's and you're gonna find KFC and if you keep going straight keep going down on Union Street this is the downtown right here which where you're going to find the the transportation terminal you know if you want to take the bus to uh, let's say to Boston or New York or like Rhode Island the, you know, it's back. You're going to find oh, the whale museum, outside, and they also have the raw bar inside with the sushi. And um, in downtown, you know, you're going to find a bunch of like bars. We have clubs, which especially during the summertime, super fun. Uh, you know, they do a lot of events, activities. And you're going to find a bunch of banks, right here. Uh, New Bedford Harbor this is a hotel and we have another we have another hotel here um, if you come all the way down on Union Street right here we have another hotel Fairfield Inn you know if you want to stay for the weekends whatever um, we have a hotel here and these and this is the state pier where you'll find all the boats here and right next to it there's a nice restaurant called the Black Whale, which is, this is my favorite restaurant. So I go there once in a while and I love their seafood. It's, it's amazing. So if you, you know, if you're wondering where you want to go to eat, I highly recommend the Black Whale. I mean, you could tell by the review. They have a great review with over 2000 reviews. All right. So now let me show you guys the hospital, which is right here so if you come down on Hawthorne Street and then here's Page Street this is where you're going to find the main hospital so this is the hospital right here which is if you want to live close if you want to live close to the hospital then you want to um, you want to live in this area right here this area right here or this area right right here if you want to stay very close to the hospital i'm gonna to head to southern and show you um what you're going to find there now if you keep coming on rockdale f this will take you all the way to um this will take you all the way to southern and oh one more thing i almost forgot to show you here in the west end um we also have we got the family dollar here in the West End, which is they, they actually they literally just um, built this family dollar. They just opened it, which is super nice because now we have one uh, family dollar in the West End. Right here, we got Domino's Pizza on this on this plaza right here. Uh, you're going to find Domino's and you're going to find Subway. Now, if we keep coming here on the Rockdale F, going uh towards Southern and from the right here going this way that's gonna be Dartmouth you know if you want to live close to Dartmouth then you want to pick this area right here because from after this it's gonna be Dartmouth or if you want to live in Dartmouth and then you want to stay near New Bedford then you want to pick this area right here so going on Rockdale F We'll take you all the way to South End. So here in the South End, you're going to find Stop and Shop. You're going to find banks. And this is also where we have the beach. 
and we have this uh, this nice place to walk which they uh, built a few years ago it's actually a really really nice place you know to go for a walk if you want to go and bring your dogs and and right here this is the the beach area in the south 10 and and we have the marine university yep so we have the beach right here then we have another uh, grocery store which is price right now we don't have grocery stores like um, Trader Joe's or Costco, but we do have, like I said, uh, we do have Market Basket, Stop and Shop. Uh, then we have Price Right and Save a Lot. So usually, you know, South End, there's not, there's not, a, there's not much here in the South End area. Um, you have, yeah, we have a Family Dollar. Then we have a Dollar Tree. Then we have a brand new police station that they just built, like I think two years ago, uh, here in the uh, southern area, which is right in this area right here. We have a brand new, brand new police station. Now let's check Southern real quick. See uh, the price, the home prices over there, which is in the southern area. The prices uh, tend to be a little bit less compared to West End um, or North End which is uh, the West End or South End is kind of more like high desirable area than the South End. So we have, we have one here for 339, then we have one for 340. Uh, let's take a quick look. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. And let's take a look, uh, three bedrooms. One full bed, right under 1,500 square foot. And these are near the beach area. We have one for 469. Then you have another one for 459. 399, 360. Uh, but yeah, so this will give you an idea, which is in the Southern area. Uh, you'll find some for under 400,000. If you want to search for some homes here in Nobefa, Massachusetts, head over to my website and the link will be in the description below. So if you want to live close to the beach, then you want to live in the southern area right here. And right here, um, right here is actually the Fairhaven Bridge. So if you are going to Fairhaven, you could just um, go on this bridge right here usually uh, there's a certain time that you know the uh, the bridge opens like let's say the boat is trying to uh, go from this side to the other side the bridge will open so you will have to stop your car and wait for the bridge to close and wait for the bridge to close before you can go and usually sometimes that might cause a little bit of traffic right here in the south 10 we have the roosevelt middle school so we got the middle school here in the south 10 then we have another school. We have another school over here. Then we got a nice park over here. So so this you now you have the beach on this side. Then you have the beach on the other side over here. And then you're going to find some bakeries, uh, some banks, stores, uh, bars. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm not going to show you guys every, every little thing because I don't want to make this video super, super long. Uh, but this is just to give you an idea, you know, to help you decide what area you want to live. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you want to see a vlog I did in the south side of Nubefor Beach, go ahead and watch this video. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next video.